YouTube what's poppin it's your boy chalk and look I'm here with a fire video today guys I'm going to be giving you the best jump shots in NBA 2k20 now look these jump shots are the best jump shots for every quick draw in every position something I want you guys to understand is that what works at point guard, what work at shooting guard, and so on and so forth. So look, it doesn't matter if you're a center, a point guard, a small forward, a power forward, it doesn't matter. These jump shots will work for you. And guys, I made sure to include every quick draw in this video. That way, no matter what position you're playing, if you happen to click on my video, I'm going to get you right with the best shots out there. Now look, trust and believe me, guys, I will never set you up these jump shots are nothing but green beans and if you like anything in this video if these jump shots are giving you unlimited green lights man do me a huge favor and drop a like on this video like i said the content is coming different and i stand by that so without further ado let's get right into this gameplay and right into these jump shots man so the first jump shot that we're going to highlight is with hall of fame quick draw now look if you're using hall of fame quick draw there is only one shot that you should be using. If you're not using base 98 with Hall of Fame quick draw, I'm not sure what you're doing. Listen, I understand YouTubers go back and forth with this jump shot. I understand people say, oh, this patch broke this jump shot, blah, 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 blah. It's just not true. Jump shot 98 has been the best jump shot for Hall of Fame quick draw all year. I don't care what build you are if you have hall of fame quick draw you need to have jump shot 98 equipped there is no if ands or but it is by far the most consistent and the fastest jump shot out there for hall of fame quick draw i'm telling you guys if you're not using jump shot 98 on your player with hall of fame quick draw you are selling yourself short now it's time to get into gold quick draw now look unlike hall of fame quick draw there are two main jump shots that you can use with gold quick draw use either one of these jump shots whichever one you think you would like more the first jump shot i'm going to be showing you guys is ray allen now if you've been following me for a long time you know how i feel about ray allen's jump shot that is the jump shot that i was using majority of the rep race i used ray allen a lot this year i think ray allen is a super consistent shot that is very easy to recognize where the green release window is if you notice on ray allen's shot as soon as you get to the top of the jump shot is when you let go and i put this clip in real quick just to show you guys how bad i'm lagging during this video so if my dribble moves are looking a little shaky or the jump shot i'm shooting some whites occasionally trust me guys my connection was dirt during this video but look when you see ray allen's shot as soon as he gets to the highest point of his release like look i'm gonna zoom in for you real quick as soon as he gets to the highest part of his shot is where the green release window is at the peak of his jump shot is where you let go and it's green every single time i'm not kidding you every time you release it, it's going to be green as green as ray allen is it is no longer my favorite gold quick draw jump shot dante exum has taken that spot in jump shots from you guys let me tell you something right now dante exum can be used with hall of fame quick draw with gold quick draw with silver quick draw but it is best suited with gold quick draw guys this jump shot has the highest green and highest make percentage i mean look at that right there no steady shooter on and shots like that are going in guys for whatever reason this jump shot is just extremely consistent i don't know if 2k just really likes dante exum as a person or whatever but guys his jump shot is legitimately insane it is by far my favorite gold quick draw jump shot this is the jump shot that i use on my two-way slashing play and in my opinion it is just the most consistent jump shot it's very easy to recognize the release cue kind of like how ray allen has one dante exum has a similar kind of thing where you just know once you learn the shot that it's going to be green if you release it at that certain peak but guys i cannot stress it to you enough Ray Allen and Dante Exum are the move for gold quick draw. And we've got our first penalty of the game. Champ Bailey with the coverage. And not a very enthusiastic flag either. Yeah. Almost apologetic. Champ Bailey didn't get his head around on the play. I think it's the reason he got. Watching the video for five minutes and not liking on some of the viewers. Please like the video right now. I'm giving you guys all the competitive secrets. 
let's get right back to this banger video man all right so before i get into the jump shots and before i break it all down i want you guys to recognize that i'm using a paint beast for the rest of this video for silver and below a paint beast with a 48 three ball yes you are reading that correctly a 48 three ball so keep that in mind i'm so tired of people commenting on the videos like oh this only works because you're a legend and da, 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 da. like no guys I'm making sure that I go down to y'all's level below legend. So I'm giving y'all the best information possible. I don't use the extra badges. I always put them on something stupid like ice in my veins or the clutch free throw shooter badge. Trust me, guys. These are the best jump shots, legend or not. So without further ado, let's get right back into the video. I just wanted to make sure I put that out there because that always stuns me when I read that in the comment section. But let's get right to it. So I want you guys to recognize as well for this part of the video that I am using no quick draw yes you are hearing that right for this part of the video i am not using any quick draw why because i want you guys to understand that jump shot 38 is the only jump shot that you should be using with silver bronze or no quick draw and here's why jump shot 38 for whatever reason is built on speed and even though you don't have quick draw it still shoots like a jump shot that has some type of quick draw on it and that's why it is the only shot that you should be using with that low of a quick draw. As you guys can see, a 48 three ball with no quick draw. And I'm knocking shots down like this. I mean, guys, trust and believe me. If you have this level of quick draw, again, this level saying silver, bronze, or nothing, 38 is the wave. Can you use 38 with gold and Hall of Fame? Yes, you can, but I do think that there are better alternatives out there. But for silver and below, there is no better jump shot than jump shot 38. And as you guys can see, I'm literally out there sparking with jump shot 38. It is literally cash money with no quick draw. All right, now those are the best jump shots. But in order for you to knock your jump shots down, you need to know the best badge spreads in NBA 2K20. So look, I'm going to give you guys the best badge spread for ball handlers and non-ball handlers. No matter what build you are on, these four badges right here, these four badges is in green machine, quick draw, range extender, and hot zone hunter are the most important badges in the game. And like, I genuinely cannot stress that enough. If you are not running these four badges at the highest possible level, you can run them. You are setting yourself up for failure. Now, when it comes to the rest of the badges, it all comes down to a preference kind of thing on how you are as a player. So typically when I run with my guard, this would be the badge spread that I would run. I would run dead eye, I would run difficult, and I would run bronze catch and shoot. Now obviously that depends on how you play. What I notice a lot of people doing now is running steady shooter because it's allowing them to knock down more contested shots. That's not something that I will personally ever endorse, but it is something that I'm seeing a lot of people do. Now, what I also want to show you, though, is I want to show you a very good and very competitive spread for somebody that is spotting up for one another. So look, and listen, I understand you might not have 29 badge upgrades, and that's absolutely fine. The premise still applies. If you only have eight badge upgrades, you need to have silver quick draw, silver range, silver hot zone, and silver green machine. Basically, what I'm trying to tell you guys is those are the big four, and then you can go from there and divvy it up however you want to. But those are the badges that you need to have on your player if you want to be successful when it comes to NBA 2K20. So that, my friends, is the end of today's video. But look, something I plan on doing right now is thanking people who are Nodi Gang. So shout out to Race 2K and shout out to Goaded Marcus. Those are the Nodi Gangs of the day. So guys, look, if you want to be featured in future videos, this will always be a consistent theme. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at Chalk and tweet me if you are Nodi Gang, guys, every video I'm going to start picking out new people to showcase at the end of videos. You know, just my way of thanking you guys for supporting me. Also, guys, if you didn't happen to see it, I posted a video of me playing as an NBA 2K20 mascot in real life. Yes, guys, in real life, I dressed up as the Phoenix Suns mascot, which is probably my favorite mascot on NBA 2K20. And I took out to the streets to see if I could ball some people up. Look. If you have not watched that video yet, I'm telling you guys, it is 100% worth the watch. Not only is it funny, but it also shows you guys that I can get down a little bit in real life too. I'm not just a legend on the game, all right? I'm a legend off the game too, but look, I can't thank each and every one of you enough for the support, guys. We are seriously going to take over 2020. Great content is on the way, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, sub to the channel, and as always, it's your boy Chalk, 
and I'm out. Peace.